Hello I'm Dave welcome to my technical notes channel. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how the use of interrupts can improve system performance in this case responding to a GPIO input event from a, something like a switch. To begin with let's have a look at the polling technique. The old technique not much happens occasionally it gets caught. Now the interrupt technique Note that it's instantaneous, no matter how fast you touch the pin, it will respond. This is the test setup used. That's an LED between pin D1 and ground and a DuPont cable acting as a switch between D8 and 5 volts. So the polling technique, how did I do that or how is it done? Typically it is set up the input pins, set up an output pin for the LED and in the loop if digital read input pin is high do something in this case turn the LED on wait a short while and turn it off again. So is the pin high testing each time in the loop at very high speed but even at high speed note that sometimes it doesn't get caught. And I put in a one second delay to simulate the program doing other work. So here it is again running. Notice how when I touch pin D8 onto the 5 volt line, sometimes it responds if I run the pins across. Sometimes it responds if I dwell on the pin, it will respond. It depends on the timing very unresponsive. So let's compare that now with the interrupt technique. In this case the interrupts are set up, the pins are set up, the interrupt is set up so that when the event occurs it goes down to the function at the bottom called ISR, interrupt service routine. So if any, if that pin is changes state, falling is the from 1 to 0 in the way it's set up at the moment, it will immediately turn on the LED and then signify that event occurred, interrupt occurred is true, so that in the main loop if an interrupt has occurred say so and then turn off the LED. Repeat the process. So once again let's remind ourselves how quickly it responds. It's instantaneous the moment there is any transition on pin D8 the one that's been chosen, you can see that something has happened. So if that was a real world event you would always capture it. Polling technique would not. So in summary then interrupts do enable real world events to be detected quickly and very efficiently and also greatly reduces coding overhead. There's no other way that you could get the response using a conventional polling technique and you'll never miss the event. It will always capture the interrupt event. Hope you found this useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 